Hi and welcome to the final video blog of the series for the year. If you're wanting to watch the previous videos of the series, you're welcome to visit our Facebook page and just have a click on them and then you'll be able to follow the story. This blog, uh, I'll be just sharing about the bronchoscopy, the procedure that I had about a couple of weeks ago. Basically, a bronchoscopy is a procedure where they take a small camera down your windpipe and they look at the, the area of the lungs that are infected or that are of possible concern. They looked um, at two different lobes when they went into my lungs and found that um, there is no TB whatsoever, which is really great news for me. Um, as a TB survivor, you are very susceptible to being reinfected, so really great news on that side. So I've been diagnosed with a condition called bronchiectasis. It's a chronic condition and as I've been informed it's um, something that I'll have to learn to deal with. Um, and the way that I do that is through healthy eating, exercising and just keeping my body as healthy as I can. Keeping my immune system strong and yeah, if there's any sign of infection I need to return to the hospital. Um, if it goes bad they can give me a drip and that's obviously the extreme case. So within the next three months they'll be seeing how my body does or, or see how my body copes with the um, condition and we'll take it from there. Obviously every person is different, every case is different according to your body makeup, according to how you cope and, and how strong your, your immune system is. Thanks again for following my story. If you're wanting to find out more about TV you can visit our WordPress blog. It's lifeaftertv.wordpress.com other alternative is to visit the Facebook pages that we've liked on our page at Life After TV and you'll find a lot of information surrounding TV, TV awareness, how to protect yourself and just in general taking care. Uh, it's important to take care and it's important to be informed and through this we're hoping that we'll become a community of informed people that can fight this disease. So I wish you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year and we look forward to seeing you in the New Year. Thanks.